Because your truck, like mine, it, it, it's repetitive because it gets in their heads. They want it. They want a video that specifies what it is they're looking for. They want to know what has Tommy found. I'm Tommy Crunk. I'm awesome. And I'm Tommy <laughs> Good. Pew, pew. So we're sitting here at idle. Oil pressure is about 15. Engine oil temperature, 199. Put it in gear. And we're still about, you know, 15. Maybe getting a 10 PSI. See if I can go through here. Engine oil pressure. Exit. Yeah, I'm showing engine oil pressures at 13. Which pretty much coincides with that. Got the surfaces cleaned up pretty good. Ready to put the pan back on. So by the way, I did have to disconnect the left front drive shaft. So to drop the differential down far enough. In addition to I had to drop all four bolts for a ring of pinion to get enough access, enough clearance for the oil pan to drop. Here's the oil pan. Considering 180,000 miles, doesn't look too bad. Little bit of sludge down there in the bottom. I've run synthetic since day one of having this truck. The gasket did stick to the engine block and it stuck to the oil pan, which made it more of a challenge to get out. Well, here's my old ring. You can see it's flattened on the sides and then the crack. So I went ahead and got a new pressure relief valve and this deflector. As you can see after cleaning the burning from the oil without the deflector. And then I got the new seal. Part number for the deflector and what I got for the new seal. I want to go ahead and pause now. Here are your torque specs. Up to temperature, 210 degrees. Pressure at 20 PSI idle. Operating temperature, 210 degrees. Idle, out of gear. 21 PSI, 20, 21 PSI. Throw it in gear. Staying at 20, 19. Accelerate a little bit. Got up to almost 30. Looks good to me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. God bless.